will be recording this session in case you need to do your homework and you have to go back to what I'm going to explain today. I'm going to post it in Google Classroom for you guys to have that, right? Good. So this week, you are going to define the trigonometric ratios. You're going to describe the trigonometric ratios and you're going to distinguish between the trigonometric ratios, right? And if you can't say trigonometric, it's fine. Just say trig, the trig ratios, right? So my first question is, what is trig? What is trigonometry? Anybody has any ideas of what is trigonometry? Nobody? Nobody, nobody, nobody has heard it in their entire short life. You haven't heard the word trigonometry? No, man. I feel so, so, so bad because this is my favorite topic. Repeat again, Cesar. <laughs> okay. How you say it? Trigonometric ratios, trigonometry, degrees and angles. Okay, Edmund, very good. We're going to talk about degrees and we're going to talk about angles. Anything else? What was the first topic that I showed on the first slide? What are we going to talk about? Function of angles. That's not what I had on the first slide. What was the What is the name of the unit? What is the shape that we're gonna talk about? A triangle. Wow. We're gonna talk about triangles and trigonometry is about triangles and everything that you could possibly think about in triangles, right? So, trigonometry. Trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that studies the relationship between the sides and the angles of triangles. So, triangles, the sides, the three sides and the three angles inside and the angles outside of a triangle. Trigonometry is found all throughout geometry as Every straight shape, straight sided shape may be broken into a collection of triangles. So now what does that mean? That even though trigonometry focuses on triangles, it does not mean that trig is only about triangles. I can find triangles in all the other shapes. Right? If you have a pentagon, a five-sided shape, and I cut that up into pieces, I get triangles. So I could use trigonometry for polygons. If I have a circle, I could put the triangle inside of a circle, and I will be using trigonometry to solve that. Right? So trig, even though we're concentrating on triangles, we're going to talk about all kinds of different things in trig. And every single place where trig can fit in to solve a problem, right? So what is today's lesson about? And this is the topic for today, trigonometric ratios. And next question, what is a ratio? And you should know this, basic, basic. Somebody from standard five could tell me what a ratio is. What is a ratio? Remember when you did ratio and proportion? Proportions. Ratio and proportion are two different things. So I cannot say that ratio is proportion or proportion is ratio. Those are two different things. But what is a ratio? An ordered pair. Very good, Andrea. Who can the give quantity me of two amounts. Repeat again, Hermie. The quantity of two amounts. The quantity of two amounts. Very good. So it's an order pair that represents the quantities. And it could be two. It could be more than two. Depending on what ratio I'm talking about. So 
a ratio is an ordered pair of numbers usually usually two of them so a and b written as a over b where b can never be zero so we are only going to be talking about two ratios because trigonometry we're only working with two of them each of the three trigonometric ratios is represented by two numbers one over the other one right so now we have talked about trigonometry and we have talked about ratios so now when we merge it together what are trig ratios all right, because this is what we want to cover. This is what we want to learn. So I'm going to play a short little video that talks about trigonometry and talks about these three ratios, three basic ratios that we're going to work on and later on develop and build on. All right. Let's get started by unveiling our three basic trigonometric ratios, sine, cos, and tan. Quick note, the trigonometric ratio, as the name suggests, is just a ratio to do with the sizes of sides and angles in triangles. These ratios are probably the buttons you've used on your calculator, but they never thought about where they actually came from. So let's find out by jumping back a few thousand years before the glorious world of reality TV and chat memes we enjoy now. Without all those chat memes to keep them entertained, ancient mathematicians actually used to, for fun, investigate the properties of shapes, and some of their things were circles and triangles. Even more so, they loved right angled triangles. You can imagine their joy when they realised how easy it is to put a right angled triangle inside a circle using a point on the circumference and the centre as points. So then what? Well, they would study this and try to learn everything they possibly could about it. One thing in particular they tried to learn is the exact lengths of this line A and this line B. Because as you can see, they change when we move this point around and if we change this angle theta in our triangle. To calculate the line lengths, they came up with the trigonometric ratios. These ratios defined the sine of an angle theta to be this length A divided by the length of the hypotenuse of the triangle, and the cosine of theta to be this length B divided by the hypotenuse. But why? Well, it's to do with something called the unit circle, which we'll look at in a few videos time. All we need to worry about for now is that they've made these ratios. Now, these guys also thought it'd be interesting to think of tangents and how they relate to this triangle. So, they defined the tangent ratio of theta, or tan theta, to be the sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta. The reason being, if we use similar triangles in that unit circle thing, then the tan of theta would be this length of the tangent. So these three ratios have been used for centuries now, and for us bugger lovers in the present day, we can drop the circle and just focus on... Okay, so that was a little video and maybe the guy's voice was boring to you guys. I think it's boring to me. But I, that was the best and most accurate video that I found.